to the Napa Sanitation District to do design and environmental work on a recycled power plant. A portion of the estimated six mil is going to help. It's, it's going to cost to do the whole thing. Um, on Thursday, uh, Jennifer followed up with the Romacheco family who had fled the war in Ukraine. Uh, after flying to Canada and walking across the U.S. border, the family made their way to California and in April found themselves connected with Bob and Jean Edwards of St. Helena, uh, who let them stay on their property there. Uh, the family actually just recently got bigger with the birth of Mark, who was born at on May 30th, the Queen of the Valley Hospital in Napa. Uh, Igor and uh, Sitlana, the mom and dad, respectively, um, are looking to get permission to work in this country. No easy feat, as you may know. Um, on Thursday, also, uh, Barry reported on what the supervisors plan on doing following departure of CEO Min Tran, who recently left to take a job as county council in Riverside County. Uh, the board is in no rush to uh, appoint a replacement, citing the importance of the job. Unanswered is whether or not the 400K plus the board agreed to pay Tran and Severance has anything to do with their delay. Um, don't have to pay somebody that's not there, right? Um, on, and uh, Edward Booth also reported on a proposal in St. Helena to require gun owners to lock up their firearms or uh, face a fine. Of course, city officials also say there's no likelihood of any direct enforcement of this, and the idea is simply to raise awareness and to get people to, you know, to reduce the number of accidental shootings. Um, it will need to be read a second time at a future uh, council meeting to be read it to be effective. Uh, that's just the way California law works on that part. All right.